how will students be trained on the tech involved? Um, it's mentioned that they will be trained, yes. but without being in a space to be trained, how's that going to work? Right. So where we're, we're working uh, most diligently right now on developing uh, material for students and families to learn about using devices is at the earliest grade levels. We are a one-to-one -one school district in grades six through 12. So all of our sixth graders through 12th graders have used devices before. They've used our learning management system. They've received instruction on a device before. Their transition to virtual learning won't be as significant. This summer, we have bought a significant number of devices for our elementary age students because while we were close to having one device per student at the elementary schools, we didn't have quite that, that, um, that uh, number available. Now we do, and every student will be given a device. At the youngest ages, it may be an iPad. Certainly as they get a little older, it may be a, a laptop. In the first few days of school, we're gonna do everything that we can to instruct them on how to get into the right systems, how to receive the right information through uh, the learning management system, how to create and submit things like homework or quizzes and, and uh, uh, projects uh, that they would do together. And we're just going to make our way towards success in this per particular area. I, as I talk to you today, I don't expect that we'll begin the school year with virtual learning, but we know it's possible. Uh, we are certainly hopeful that we'll begin with many in person, because when they're in person, we all know that, that students learn best when they're in a classroom with a teacher. And so if we can get a bit of time together with them at the start of the school year, should we need to shut down then at some point because of another surge in, in the virus uh, epidemic, uh, pandemic, uh, then, then we will certainly have given them the skills necessary to be more successful. If they are entirely online mm -hmm. and there are tech problems, mm -hmm. how are you guys dealing with those tech yeah, problems? Yeah, we've got an incredible team of, of technology leaders in this district and they serve every single building and they're accessible. Uh, they're, they're, Many of them are educators by trade as well, so they're really thorough at communicating with those who are having tech challenges, and they help them work through those challenges really easily. So we'll do that um, in a number of ways. I mean, we'll do it through telephone services. We can do it on site if we absolutely have to. Um, and so we'll have a, a full uh, technology help assistance desk available to them at all times. If parents make the choice to have their student do entirely online learning mm -hmm. because of immunocompromised mm -hmm. situations, and everybody else is in person, who is gonna be responsible for that child's instruction? Is it going to be the teacher of their typical class? Oh, sure. How will that work? Yeah, you know, right now, I don't have all of this done mm -hmm. yet, but, but as I speak to you now, near, near the beginning of July, uh, for a program that'll begin at the end of August, um, you know, we have about 50 of every grade level instructors at the elementary schools in this district, meaning there are about 50 first grade sections. There are about 50 second grade sections. I suspect moving into the school year, again, I'm planning on starting in person. Maybe we'll have 46 of those in person. Mm -hmm. And maybe four of those will be online. And they'll have a very specific online instructor uh, with whom they keep contact every day. Um, if they're ready to come back into the classroom, we'll, we'll be able to handle that as well. Because we understand that just as, as much as we're asking the community to be flexible with us and to be patient with us, we know we've got to be patient and flexible with them as well. Something that worked very well for their child for the first couple weeks of school may be very different on week three and we need to be flexible with them as well. And so we will be. We will, we will be prepared at any moment to teach a student in person, online, or in the hybrid model.